as a bassoonist and a performer, and composer, creator. Uh, this is a moment that I feel connects those two. When I'm writing a very, very loud bit in my own music, I think of this moment that I had when I was playing uh, first contrabassoon in the Rite of Spring, in Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, which I was very excited about, but that I was sitting right in front of the like, bass trumpets, <laughs> the trombones, and it ended up being a pretty different experience of the Rite of Spring than I'd ever imagined, right? That it was very, very centric <laughs> toward, toward a, a specific kind of level of volume that I probably hadn't really experienced before, because right behind that, those bass trombones and those, and those bass trumpets were the two sets of timpani, right? So it was really like a thunderous kind of um, moment. And so I think about that when I'm sitting in an audience that um, musicians have their own sense of what's really going on. So I think one of the things of thinking about how an orchestra works is the, the many um, dimensions of space. So that there's the, there's the space of the blank page. How do we fill that, right? So we have the highest instruments the top of the page, we have the lowest instruments at the bottom of the page, and then we have a lot of, you know, v variability within that. Um, we also perceive the highs and the lows and the louds and the softs, right? So that's a different way of conceiving of space. How would a musician think about this? And then making my decision. It's just, you know, writing for the orchestra is, is solving a million problems, you know, by a million tiny millimeters. For me, bassoon, and composition really fed into each other when I was younger, but they really continue to feed into each other for me now in a way that I have a sense of the physical requirements of blowing air through a tube, getting the fingers ready, getting that, you know, everything has to be absolutely perfect. And I can take that to my work on the page. That moment is something I have reflected on uh, when I sit and write music and when I think about what the orchestra actually is capable of.